Today I will show you how to estimate the length of gradually uh, varied flow profile produced by an obstruction of a small dam. Uh, and here there is an example. The example says a river which is 100 meter wide uh, and 3 meter deep, uh, deeps has an average bed slope of 0.005 and uh, discharge intensity of 30 meter cube per second per meter width of uh, the channel. So it asks us to estimate the length of uh, this gradual varied flow profile produced by a low dam which raises the water surface just upstream of it by 1.5 meter. So draw your profile and assume uh, mining roughness 0.035. Uh, this is uh, an example and uh, there are various methods uh, to uh, plot gradually varied flow profile uh, and uh, here uh, the question asks us to use this direct step method so in order to plot this gradually varied flow profile we need to know the first situation is uh, 3 plus for uh, 3 plus 1.5, 4.5. So uh, we need to know this elevation. Therefore, therefore uh, we need to determine this normal lips. So in order to uh, determine normal lips uh, for a wide rectangular channel, we need to assume the hydraulic radius R uh, needs to be approximately equals to uh, the depth, or river depth, so, which is the width is uh, greater than or equal to 50 meter for uh, this river uh, also 100 meter wide uh, which is a wide rectangular channel so uh, we will take hydraulic radius as r as uh, it is y so uh, the mining equation can be reduced into this equation for y not the power of 5 over 3 equals to q times mining roughness coefficient n divided by square root of bed slope so this is the uh, equation for a wide rectangular channel. So this is why not is a normal dips. So solving for this normal dips, uh, this is the equation for normal dips finally. After just rearranging, why not can be uh, described in such a way. So we need to determine for this question, we need to determine normal dips. So here. normal dips y not we need to equate this y not which is equals to which is equals to q this q for that we need to open bracket double bracket Okay, now Q, this Q times N, money roughness N is given here. So, uh, divided by square root, square root, this is square root, square root of bed slope, this one, close, close bracket, the power of, upper bracket, 3 over 5. 3 over 5 and uh, hit enter this is actually the normal lives so this lives is 3.05 or 3.06 so this is the dips 3.06 and uh, the initial lives for a normal lives and uh, the dips will increase uh, to reach 3 plus 1.5 uh, meter which is 4.5 meter so the final lips is 4.5 meter this is 4.5 meter is the final lips so here in order to determine the length of flow provide x is equal to summations of change of x where change of x is uh, equals to change in energy divided by uh, Final bed slope, average bed slope, minus bed slope, 
in which uh, change in E e can be obtained from change in E is equal to energy uh, final minus energy initial. So energy uh, initial and energy final can be created in such a way where, where in which energy uh, is a function of y and uh, uh, divs that is divs and uh, velocity here velocity initial and velo uh, velocity initial and velocity final divs initial divs final so we need to find those divs and velocities to reach this x the final x therefore in order to perform that the first thing we need to help with is divs so uh, the final div starting from the one uh, the final uh, divs we need to uh, use a change in which we need to uh, reduce to the normal divs so 4.5 is the final so if i reduced 0 0.1 from 4.5 i can get this one you can you, you change this change is on your interest you can use uh, 0 0.2 for me for the for this example i take 0 0.1 yeah now here is also this one minus 0 0.1 here this one the earlier elevation minus 0 0.1 so we we'll keep uh, inducting this change change till till now this one is this one minus this one now what will be if what will be if from this one minus 0 0.1 now We'll get three three meter. This is not the normal dip, so uh, this is this is below the normal dip. So I will take the final as the normal dip. So delete this one. So the, I will take this uh, normal dip as it is. This is why not. So elevation can be uh, obtained in such a way. Uh, the final the other one is velocity, which is one of uh, components for energy calculation. The velocity. In which alpha is coefficient and considered to be one, which is equal to one. So energy initial is equal to divs initial plus velocity initial squared divided by two times gravity. So I need to calculate velocity velocity of flow, which is equal to here velocity of flow is equal to q divided by y. So this one divided by y y is this one so this is needs to be constant so i will insert in the middle a dollar here press enter so this is the velocity is it the velocity now i need to use this one velocity square divided by 2g two times of gravity that is which is equal to bracket velocity this one the power of two divided by two times where gravity is nine point eight one so so velocity square over two g is such a way a minimum value by the way a minimum zero yeah now energy i can calculate energy as y plus velocity square over 2g here energy is equals to this one plus this one from the equation energy can be uh, obtained as y plus v square over 2g so i will write this one or double click here it will do uh for the rest here here what i have to do is change so change of, uh, change by itself is from a deduction from final minus initial so this is uh, blank because there is no uh, initial so this is for this one we can calculate in such a way this one minus this one enter we can drag in such a way for the other the other one is friction slope 
so fresh stock can be obtained in such a ways using this equation this is a safe equation this is a safe equation so we can calculate in such a way as uh, like I do here equals to open double bracket here Q Q yeah this is Q we need to insert the other sign here Q times N money roughness these are coefficients these are constant so I need to use dollar sign here close this one divided by bracket divs that is why the power of 5 over 3 so close again now close the other and the power of 2 square as you can see this two two press so yeah hit it down now you can drag this one as if average for this one I will leave as it is free because there is no initial value to calculate the average so I will leave here and equal here bracket this one plus this one divided by two so I can calculate in such a way for a safe average this is a safe average minus bed slope you can equate in such a way yeah this is this one minus this is bit slope so I need to use this to get for the others as well I need to use a dollar sign here so in turn yeah precision slope is above the bit slope so it is negative here all values are negative change in x from the equation change in x is equals to change in energy divided by a safe average minus bit slope here which is equals to change in energy this one divided by this one press enter these are if you these are uh, all are positive if you, if this change in x is negative uh, you can use a solid value because distance cannot be negative so you can include include absolute absolute value absolute value of this one distance cannot be negative so you can calculate in such a way then finally we can also calculate this x x equals to this one the first one is this one and the second one is this one plus this one enter here also equals to this one plus this change next now you can drag here so actually I have drag so I have dragged uh, so what we need to is uh, cumulative value so uh, we need to sum all change values you equals to this one plus this one so if you draw it you will get the same so if you drag this one you will get the final x length of x from the obstruction upstream uh, from the hill of the dam to the normal lifts can be uh, at a distance of this one meter this one meter so 
this is how we can uh, calculate the links for gradual varied flow. For according to the question, what is remaining is draw the profile, the flow profile. So we can we can plot flow profile, distance versus elevation here. So click here insert scatter plots here. This one use this one. This one, select data, add data here, flow profile, here, x value can be a distance here, this one, x value, the initial distance here is zero, can you use zero here? Correct letter. This is elevation. So press here. Okay. Okay now. Press here zero. Yeah. It's initial uh, elevation. At initial elevation for 0.5 meter. The distance is zero, so it's increasing here. So low profile can be uh, prepared in such a way. So we can also modify the chart this is elevation elevation in meter this is a uh, distance in meter distance in meter so we can also zoom here this is finally the flow profile looks like this one you can design you can change it so the charts type you can use in such a way this is the flow profile and uh, this is today's video tutorial uh, how to you uh, plot flow profile and uh, calculate the distance for gradual varied flow profile so thank you very much and uh, this is the distance this is the distance for gradual varied flow profile from the heat of the dam to the normal leaves and this is the flow profile as you can see and thank you very much this is all about